Hi guys, welcome back to Amazing K-Pop. This week, the Blackpink girls continue to keep us on our toes with their busy schedules and intriguing hints about upcoming projects. Lisa recently had an interview with Jojo Wright on 102.7 KISS FM to promote her newly released music. During the conversation, she shared her excitement about beginning a new chapter in her career with Rockstar and how she's been nonstop since the song's release. Between filming for New Woman and The White Lotus, Lisa has been working tirelessly. Her dedication hasn't gone unnoticed, with Ryan Tedder praising her as an icon, saying that in his 20 years of producing songs for artists worldwide, Rockstar is his favorite video among all the ones created with songs he's worked on. Despite the praise, Lisa remained humble and careful during the interview, particularly when discussing future projects. When asked about her acting debut in The White Lotus, she skillfully avoided spoilers by mentioning that she's bound by a non-disclosure agreement, NDA. When questioned about working on a new album, Lisa cautiously replied, My goal is to keep trying to make new music, so I don't know, but hopefully in the future, I would love to. Lisa's response left some fans a bit disappointed, as it seemed to confirm that a full album might not be released this year. Instead, she hinted at the possibility of releasing three more singles to complete the five-pointed star. However, others believe that Lisa might just be trying not to spoil anything, reminding fans that she previously downplayed her attendance at the VMAs before actually showing up. These fans are convinced that Lisa will release an album this year and is simply following a Western style release strategy where singles are dropped months ahead of the album to build anticipation. In my opinion, Lisa is still working on her album. However, releasing an album involves a lot of work and time, so we might only see singles or an EP this year with a full album early next year. What do you think? Meanwhile, Lisa surprised Alice by returning to Korea to celebrate Alice's birthday. Lisa also excited fans by attending Stray Kids' last concert in Seoul. Not only that, she took backstage photos with Stray Kids after the show and gave the most beautiful bouquet of flowers to her close friend, Bang Chan. Her heart is so sweet. She is always kind and supportive of her friends. Meanwhile, Blackpink's eldest member, Jisoo, has been dropping intriguing hints about her new music. She recently surprised fans by changing her Instagram profile photo, hinting that her new music might be related to the color blue. Now she's teasing fans even more with her latest Instagram updates. At first glance, her post seems to show Jisoo enjoying a luxurious vacation with clear blue skies and a pristine blue ocean from a yacht. However, her outfit it seems out of place for a relaxing getaway. Some fans speculate that these photos are from her trip to Atlanta, Georgia two weeks ago. Korean media reported that Jisoo traveled to Atlanta to film her upcoming solo music video. If true, this means the music video will feature stunning scenes of Jisoo against the backdrop of the blue Atlantic Ocean on a fancy yacht. What do you think? In the meantime, Rosé has just returned to South Korea after a long schedule in LA. Some fans jokingly suggest she hurried back after the recent viral interactions between Jenny and Susie online. However, it's more likely that she finished working on new music in LA. And it might not just be a single album. Her new flower-themed nails seem to hint that her full album could be released soon. Previously, Rosé had been dropping hints from sprout to plant, and now it seems the plant has bloomed into a flower, signaling that the time for RS2 is near. It's no coincidence that three years ago, Rosé warned fans that the R era was about to begin with her post showcasing her flower nails. What do you think? Meanwhile, today, September 3rd, fans were thrilled as JTBC confirmed that Jenny and actor Park Bogum would be appearing in their new variety show, My Name is Gabriel. The show offers a unique concept where celebrities live the life of non-celebrities for 72 hours. Jenny will take on the role of Maria, the owner of a farmhouse in a quaint village near Rome, Italy. During her time on the show, she will welcome guests, cook meals, prepare banquets, and even conduct cooking classes. However, fans will need to wait a bit to see Jenny in action, as she is set to appear in episodes 13 and 14, airing on September 27th and October 4th, respectively. All of her scenes were filmed in Italy, adding an authentic touch to her portrayal of Maria. This news comes as a surprise, considering that on March 19th, Jenny's label, OA, confirmed that she had initially decided not to appear on this JTBC show to focus on her album work. According to director Gian at the time, Jenny declined the offer because she was starting to prepare for her new album. With Jenny's change of heart and decision to participate in two episodes of the show, it's clear that she has already completed work on the album. However, a comeback involves more than just music. There's a lot to manage, especially when she's running an entire label. 